It's an issue that isn't going away for animal advocates. There's horse-drawn carriages in downtown Savannah. An incident on Monday is putting those concerns back in the spotlight. News 3's Joanne Merrigan found out more about what happened, and she is joining us now. Yeah, that is right, Ben and Trish. I talked to the owner about this, and she really called this a minor incident. However, the issue for some people is that this is the second incident involving a carriage since February. Now, city staff say in relation to Monday's problem, they are assessing a report from the owner of that company. It was a minor incident uh, after our hours of operation on Monday evening. Kara Marshall, the owner of Carriage Tours of Savannah, says a horse backed up at an intersection and tipped a carriage onto its side. We had a uh, response within minutes. Our barn is, you know, just seconds from there. There were no passengers on the carriage and the driver and horse were not hurt. We were not in any violation of ed any code or ordinance that evening. Um, it was just, you know, an incident that occurred. Uh, you can call it minor in relation to other things, incidents that have happened, um, but it does create some concern. It's still very possible that had somebody been nearby or in the carriage that there could have been injuries. Ruth Arnone says what happened this week has advocates fired up all over again. That's because in February, an incident involving another carriage company did result in injuries to passengers and the driver. Some want to ban carriages, while others at least want more city regulations for companies. I don't think it's happening. I think that they're waiting, you know, every time there's an incident, I think they're just waiting for it to blow over. Marshall says for her company, this really was an isolated incident. It's highly unusual, yes. Um, uh, we have a, a very strict training process that takes weeks. We will continue to assess this particular situation. Um, I have uh, sent a letter to uh, the city um, describing the incident. City staff told us they're in the process of assessing Marshall's report, that they have met with concerned groups to ensure the fair and humane treatment of animals, and that the city may hold public meetings about the issue in the future. And again, we do want to point out that the February accident did not involve Marshall's company. She told me today she will continue to investigate what did happen with her company and her carriage and that she says the carriage itself will be examined. Meanwhile, animal groups say they'll continue to push for more regulations for these companies. Joanne Merrigan, WSAV News 3.